Hey, what's up, guys? Chung here again. And so, so this time, uh, let's take a look at this uh, this week's uh, weekly contest, the last one, the last problem, uh, one one thousand five hundred sixty-three stone game number five. So, okay, so there are like several stones arranged in a row, and so basically each num each element represents the value of the stone. So the rule is as follows: basically, in each round of games, Alice divides the the row into two parts. Okay non-empty parts, left and right. And then Bob calculates the value of each row, which is the sum of the values of the, basically the sum of, of each part of the sub, sub rows. And then Bob will discard the, the row that has a, has, a max, has, a bigger, has a bigger value. And then Alice scores the, other, the, other, the, the, the sum of the remaining row. And if the value of the two rows are equal, so basically Alice can decide which row to be thrown and which row to keep. And the next round starts with the remaining row. The game ends when there is only one stone remaining, and Alice is initially zero, and return the maximum score that Alice can obtain. Okay. I mean, so this is like, I think it's kind of uh, clear that this is like a DP problem, you know, Basically, the uh, the DP the state transition function will be the DP. Uh, sorry, so gonna be the DP. Uh, what is that? The start, the start and end. Okay, which means which represents start from this 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 index and end from and end from this index. What's the uh, the maximum score, Alex? Alice can score, okay? And so the state transition function will be like, basically, uh, we, we will be trying all the split, all the, all the possible ways to split this uh, this sub, this range of stones into two, two parts. Basically, in this case, we can start from here, 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 and here. And every time when we split the, the stone, the current stone row into two, Two parts will be calculating the, the left, basically the left sum, right, and and the the right sum. Okay. So since the the since whichever is is bigger will be thrown by Bob, and the other one will be the score that uh, the Alice will be getting. All right, right. And let's say we have a Let's say the uh, uh, the we start from k, right? So let's say the split point is k. Basically, this thing gonna be the the maximum, right? The maximum of like uh, uh, smaller, okay? Smaller sum, right? Plus what? Plus the dp of you know if the left if the left sum is smaller okay and then it's going to be the dp uh uh s s to uh to to k i'm assuming this k otherwise right otherwise this thing is going to be uh if the if the right side is smaller then it's going to be dp what uh k plus one to to end okay Right, so that's the basic the basic idea. And if this the left sum and the right sum are equal, right, then basically we're gonna have like both this the s to k and the k plus one to e. Basically, in this case, Alice can 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 try both sides, right? And yeah, so I think that's the, that's the basic state transition uh, function here. And the the, some, the only improvement we can make here, since we're getting, we're, we'll be calculating the, the sum of the sub array here, right? So it's a, a common technique we'll be using the pre-sum, right? So we don't have to loop through uh, each of the elements. We can just do a pre-sum and then can quickly get, give us the, uh, the sub array uh, sum. Okay, cool. So 
uh, let's try to code these things up here. Mm -hmm. I mean, since uh, uh, we're going to do a, a top down, I mean, basically that's that's uh, it's a kind of aligned with the what uh, what this problem is telling us to do. So it's kind of more intuitive to understand, right? It's more intuitive, at least to me, right? For me to understand. So in that case, I'm going to define like a DP, right? Start and end, okay? That's the two uh, element here, the two parameters. And then I'm going to define a few of the, uh, mm, few of the, uh, the, 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 the parameters here. And of course the memorization here, right? So, I mean, the, uh, and then we're going to have, I'm going to keep maintaining a pre-sum, uh, pre-sum, uh, hash, hash table here. So I initialize with minus one and zero. This is because when you, when you calculate the pre-sum of the, of the first element, uh, since we will be using the I minus one, that's why when I equals to zero, we still need to get the I minus one, which is zero in this case. Okay. And to calculate the pre-sum, right, it's like this, and uh, in enumerate, right, and stone value, okay. And then it will pre-sum, right, pre-sum, like uh, index, index i equals to a pre-sum index i minus one uh, plus the current value, okay. So that's the, uh, basically, that's the pre-sum uh, hash table here. And then we just need to, uh, call this DP function with the start index and the end index. Okay. So when that, then let's let's try to implement this DP DP uh, recursive function here. And first, right. So if the S and the, and the N N is in the memorization. Okay. Uh, we simply return the uh, the memorization with this uh, S and and the end. Okay. So that's that. And uh, yeah, other than that, it's just like, uh, I'm going to implement the template first. So basically we're going to have an answer here, here equals to, uh, uh, answer, right. And in the end, we simply return the answer here. Okay. So, um, yeah, now the, the next step will be the, 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 the ending point, which is the base case. So w what is the base case? The base case is the, uh, when there's only one, one stone left then then we, we simply stop so in in our case when there's only one stone it means the start and end are the same right so when the s is equal to end in this case we return what we return zero why why zero because when there's only one stone left for in this in this example three here okay in this case the bob will, will simply discard this four which which leaves zero to alice zero score to alice that's why when there's only one stone left, uh, Alice will get zero score. Okay. And if not, right. So let's try to split this, uh, this, uh, sub array. Okay. We're going to try in range, uh, in range, like start to end. Basically there are this, this, uh, ma this many ways to split the, uh, uh, the current stone. Okay. And the left sum, right, is equal to what? Pre sum i minus uh, pre sum like s minus one. Okay, you guys can try to understand this because the, since to get the to to get the pre sum from i to s, we have to use the i m m uh the pre sum uh, s minus one. And same thing for the right side. Right sum is the pre uh, sum in this case is e right minus uh, pre sum i okay yeah so for this part you guys can draw like a, an array here like for example the one two three with the indices zero one and two so when we when we start uh, when we like split from from here okay split from here uh, the first part is the, the first part is the, uh, uh, from zero to minus one, which is the, the sum is one for the right part. Uh, this E is two, right? So this pre-sum is basically pre-sum two 
minus prism zero. Okay, so zero it happens to be the the starting point of the right part and my, uh, with minus one, which will be the exactly the, the index we need here. Okay, and then like I said, if the left sum right is smaller than the right sum, okay, then what we have? We have the answer. Sorry. Okay, so we have the answer here. I'm gonna copy this answer up here. So we have the answer equals to uh, what? Uh, uh, max. Okay, max. Uh, answer dot. Uh, so in this case, Alice will will get the the smaller sum, which is the left, and then the remaining part is the DP. What DP? Uh, the left part, which is the S to the uh, to the I. Okay. Else, else if the left sum is greater than the right sum. Okay. So in this case, what do we have? We have the uh, same thing. Answer. Uh, right sum. In this case, we the right sum is smaller, plus the DP. What in this case, I plus one to end. Okay. Right. So that's the second case. Else. So now, when the left part is it's equal to the right part, in this case, Alice can choose either the left side or the right side. So in this case, uh, I'm, uh, when 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 uh, translate to the code is something like this. Okay, S, and then the right. Uh, since the left and right are it's equal, it doesn't. We can just use the same DP. I plus one dot e. Okay. Basically, it means that when the the left sum and the right sum are the same, we can at least we can either go to the left side or the, or the, the right side. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it is. Let's try to run this. Run code. Okay. So the test case passed. Submit. Yeah, it passed, but it seems like this is not the this is not the the, fa the fastest solutions. But yeah, since I just finished this uh, the weekly contest, I mean, at least this is the the most intuitive solutions to me. I mean, there might be some uh, a better way of solving this problem, but I mean, it's a good start. Okay, cool. Yeah. Maybe something here, maybe we can try to only pick one side, but probably not. I mean, let me let me try this. I think this this will, will not work. I mean, I think this because we have to try both sides here. I'm just curious if this will work. Yeah, see. Yeah, basically we have to try both sides, uh, but for, yeah, and this one is not that fast, but it works. Okay, that's all it matters. And cool, I think that's pretty much it is I want to talk about for this problem. Yeah, and okay, thank you so much for watching the video, guys, and st stay tuned. See you. Bye bye.